YOLO, how's it going? I'm just sitting here in the dark looking at this very strange moon. Um, so I talked before about the Titans in one of my previous videos. Um, if you go back through my video listing, um, I talked about the Titans and how I kind of compare the Titans to the Lovecraftian lore. How Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft talked about these old ones, these primordial beings that existed in antiquity or beyond antiquity. Um, those little, those gaps in our, our time that we don't, that we weren't told about, basically. Or we were told about, but it's been relegated to that of, of myth and story. Um, I've been seeing a lot of things lately, and it's like every single day this, this, this place gets crazier and crazier. And I, actually, and I want to kind of take that back. I don't think it gets crazy, it's getting crazier. I think it's just, we're just seeing more and more of things, and... At this point, based on what I've seen, what I've, what I've been seeing, what I've been hearing, what I've been feeling, my gut, my intuition, just everything that I've been, I've, I'm being told, these beings are absolutely real. And, and this is beyond, because I've always had a very strong connection to um, nature spirits, to elementals. Um, this just a, it's a thing you know it's not and, and nature and elementals can be positive they can be negative they can be um benign they can be completely just um neutral you know in fact i think the majority of them are neutral they exist though and they are a natural phenomenon they're not like it's not an evil thing it's not a negative thing even though a lot of them can be used for negative purposes like it's just like how you can use energy for negative purposes you know but at the core it's still energy and these 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 these, these beings these these spiritual creatures like they um they are a natural phenomenon of this planet of this earth i can't tell you exactly how they are created in detail but they are just something they they're just a natural phenomenon on this planet it's one thing that i have just come to accept and it it was really kind of a scary thing at first because when i first started waking up and those who can see these things um will probably agree it was very it was very scary very taxing very like nerve-wracking because you you see these things and you don't know what the hell they are but they're everywhere and the first thing you know one immediately assumes is especially if you have a certain slant on your uh perception you know i'm not knocking any it's just what it is you know uh you're automatically gonna assume all these things are demons and they're not there's a lot of that out there but like i said there's just a lot of things out there that's just and they may look weird and strange, but they're just natural products of this world and or this dimension slash universe. And there are lots that belong to others. But back to the whole thing about the Titans is like there were beings. You see, these are like the these elementals and stuff like they exist in a realm just just slightly, you know, out of phase with ours. Right. So they're not. Is physical they're not really physical in the sense that like everybody can see them but there were times where there were beings that existed that walked this planet and they were massive um, and they had a natural uh, connection to the elements they were byproducts of the elements and they were like I said they were massive they would trigger storms they would you know, warp um, just the elements around them, just them existing because they were that powerful and that massive. And for one reason or another, these beings vanished. Well, not vanished, but they they kind of went out of 
into hibernation. They went into a, a state of dormancy. Um, there are a lot of interesting people, researchers, channels on YouTube that talk about this. They talk about how the you know a lot of these um, mountains, mountainous ranges, um, strange rocky terrains. Um, just a lot of those, you know, just a lot of strange, like, um, petrified, like, bodies, petrified forms, you know, that they tell us are stone and stuff. They're not. These are these creatures. You know, some are dragons and some are other things. And this goes back to the story about the Titans. Because there is truth in all of this, people. I'm going to say that till I'm blue in the face. Like... There's truth in all of it. You just have to kind of break down what's true and then what's not. But there's truth in all of it. This story, this 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 entire story is being told to us in multiple facets, different forms. But it's all there. All the pieces are there. You just it's up to you to put them together. But yeah, so I've heard many people talk about these, you know, uh, mountains and, and rocks and all these things, these big things, especially these megalithic structures that we, we've been told, oh, these are just, you know, stone things that people just, you know, worshipped and, you know, held in reverence. And no, some of these megalithic structures, they were beings, entities. Um, go back to the story of Stonehenge and Merlin and the whole story about those stones were giants. In fact, it was called the Giant's Dance. That was the original name for them. There were giant entities in those stones, trapped in those stones. Those stones weren't just there to be there, you know, among other interesting things that Stonehenge does. But, yeah. But the interesting thing now is that we're at a point where, because this cycle is changing, and I guess it has something to do with the changing of the cycle, with the switching of things, the stars, all this stuff is like clockwork. And because this cycle is switching, these things are waking back up, people. These things are waking back up. And a lot of what we're being told, these of oh, these these freak storms and these weird these are the these these titan beings. These things are waking up. They're coming out of volcanoes, they're coming out of the ocean, they're coming out of the sky. They are walking among us and you would never know because you wouldn't I mean you know what you might think of is like a, and I'm not saying this is this this is the, this is the case with all of them but I'm saying like you might have a giant I mean a giant tornado that just shows up out of nowhere you might want to look closer I mean you can't look closer but I'm just saying like you know metaphorically you might want to look closer into that tornado because there might be an entity or a being in that tornado that is causing all of that, you know? Um, these things are out there. I have seen them. I'm seeing things in the clouds. I'm seeing things in the air. I'm seeing things like these storms, man. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy the things that I'm seeing. And I know, I know I'm not the only one. You know, it's funny because I would, I'd be really curious to hear some of the stories that come from these places where these, these, like, I'm talking about like these crazy storms are hitting and I'm curious as to like what some of these people are seeing while they're in these storms. I bet you the stories are crazy, but all true because we're just at that, we're at that point now where it's all happening again. That's what they were trying to show you in those movies like Godzilla stuff like that that's what those movies were about those titan type creatures that were waking up remember Godzilla was in a state of dormancy before he woke up and started just you know wrecking shop you know and then it's funny because too if you watch those movies for the most part especially in the first movie um they and don't quote me on this because I, I the first one is like really vague in my head but I know it was like a mixture of like they woke it up slash they made the situation worse by like dropping a nuclear bomb on it and they mutated it whatever again it's it's 
the core concept is about these creatures that wake up because after Godzilla it was like everything started waking up if you remember it was like first it was Godzilla then it was uh, Mothra and Ghidorah and all these Rodan all these insane creatures and it's like where the hell are these things coming from well, the cycle changed and suddenly these things that had been in a state they were dormant they were asleep all this time they're waking up again and suddenly you have all these monsters and not just monsters monsters that are fighting monsters that are you know changing the landscape of the entire world it's just a thing you know and, and, and then too it's like, like like I was about to say they they want to you know, these movies, because they always have the narrative that they're trying to push in between the truth, um, that these things are just, you know, these, these mindless beasts that are just, no, well, no. As far as I'm concerned, it's like there's that, 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 that scene in the, I think the recent Godzilla, like when they remade Godzilla in 2015, and um, uh, one of the scientists, the Japanese scientists, like his, his, his catchphrase in the movie is like, let them fight. <laughs> that's basically how I feel like I could give two goddamns about any of this as far as you know man like I said this whole place can get level tomorrow I really don't care at this point you know as long as the right people continue on you know this again there's so many changes happening so many things are happening to this place and it's again it's just one thing after another you know but it's it's just so many aspects of that, you know, you got the creatures, you got, and even on a, on a, a, a greater level, because I mean, you go back to, um, you go to Revelations, and it talks about, you know, these imprisoned entities, and, 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 and there's that too, and, you know, it's all happening at once, you know, but, um, outside of the, uh, the conversation of, I guess, fallen angels, um, yeah, you, you really just had beings that just existed on this planet, they were just like, these giant, you know, element bending creatures, and they were just a part of the landscape, they really were, and then something happened, and they no longer, they were just gone, they were still here, we just, we were told, we weren't told that they were here anymore, you know, we were we were told that we were all told lies. You know, like I said, these things are all they evidence of these things are all around. They're they're it's here, it's there. You know, you just have to look for it. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and continue with my uh, my night. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will talk to you when I talk to you. Bye.